unboxing this wig. So I did get the Harmony 116 by Milky Way. Um, it's called uh, Milky Way Harmony Human Hair Master Mix. It is a lace front. Uh, this is the packaging that it comes in. I did get this color in 1B. Um, on the back it shows you the hair. It's beautiful. I can't wait to put it on. Um, at the bottom it does tell you a little bit more about the Master Mix. You can't really see that because it's so small. Um, but it does talk about how this hair contains 5% of human hair and it uh, the Master Mix helps it with manageability and more volume to the hair and it also makes the curls last longer. But the only thing about the Master Mix is that you can only get it with the Shake and Go products. So, that's a plus. So, I'm super excited and that's awesome. So, open it. So I'm going to just show you the hair. It's pretty wavy. Um, I came across this hair. I only seen like two people do a review on this hair, and I was like, why isn't nobody reviewing this hair? It's gorgeous. Look how it has a lot of body. Like, oh my gosh. And when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, I gotta do a review. So the parting space is awesome. It. Um, can, you can see the knots like the knots are kind of prevalent on that there I don't I don't know how I feel about that they're kind of dark um, this cap construction there are two combs in the front and I think this wig is meant to be a, a middle part wig so they're evenly placed on both sides um, it does come with a bottom comb and two adjustable straps and I guess they have little baby hairs at the bottom. If you like to put your hair up in a ponytail or whatever, they have baby hairs. If that's convenient for you. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna just, I think the hairline is pretty straight. It's not, I guess that doesn't matter if you're not gluing down this um, unit, but it's, it's pretty straight. So, I mean, you can always cut the lace into a natural hairline if that's what you like. But um, yeah, I'm going to cut this lace off and put some powder on this part and try this wig on for you. Okay, so I didn't tweeze the part. Um, as you can see, I just put a little powder on it. Um, I did put baby hairs, and this is just for the middle part sake. Um, I put baby hairs on both sides going down, and I do have to push this up because uh, I got these all in. So. Um, I'm gonna, it, it is a little frizzy, so I am gonna be spraying some of my on uh, spray so that way I, when I finger the curls, it won't get big and frizzy. Like, that's not cute. So, I'm just gonna spray a little bit. I really didn't want to do that because this hair is straight out the box, and I just want to try to keep the texture as much as I can. So, I'm gonna just go through and separate the curls. My mom kind of thinks this hair is a big already, but I, that's what I'm kind of going for. Not super big hair, but So the ends are kind of tanned a little bit while I'm fingering this out. So just spraying that detangler spray on there would just help it. I'm not going to use a brush because I want to keep this kind of curl. And so this is what the hair looks like. Hair combed on one side with just my hair, hands just separating the curls and running my fingers through it. And this is what it looks like without me spraying and doing all that extra stuff the hair was like stabbing me in the eye. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so I do like combing the curls out. It makes it look fuller. It gives it a little bit more body. Like, oh my gosh. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, so this hair is super soft and I love it. Um, the ends, I really do feel like they're gonna just continue since they're curly and curly slash wavy. They're gonna, like, as I finger through it, like, I'm not gonna be able to finger through this hair as much because it does kind of get stuck like that. But, I mean, it's not serious. It's just take it and separate it. It's not that hard. And as long as I keep the on spray with me, I know that the on spray did gather those frizzy pieces and just bring them back to where it needed to be. I do like the hair better combed out versus what it kind of looked like before. I don't know if you can see that as well as I can. But it just looks fuller. It gives me that effect that I wanted. I love it. Like, on a runway or something like that's perfect um this is just the middle part so i am going to show you a side part bear with me it's not gonna look perfect on the first try i'm not a pro so um i did try to put the combs in so that way they can that way this wig doesn't slide back but i do have my milano wig grip on which is helping a whole bunch, a whole lot. So, I do, I love this side part, I love it, like, it's pretty. I think I'm gonna have to go in with um, my elf eyeliner to um, dark, darken some of my uh, baby hairs and make uh, pull out some more uh, leave out because um, my hair is not as dark as this 1B and it's dark I mean this 1B is pretty dark so um, I do love this color because uh, it gives it a healthy and natural look to the curls and it it oh my gosh it's amazing it's amazing like I don't know no other way to explain that like this hair to me it's amazing in my opinion I love it so um, I'm more than likely I'm going to be wearing it to the right side or um, the middle but uh, this is like my go-to uh, side so I am going to turn it to the left part because um, I know some people like wearing hair that way so Um, this hair is is shedding a little bit, and I think that's because I did um, cut off the lace, and um, this hair is curly, so it's going to contain some of the um, hair that I cut off when I cut off the lace, because it's not a straight unit, I can't just really, like, pull it out. So I'm going to experience a little bit of shedding with this wig. Um, love the wig. I love how the wig is very versatile. I can switch it to any part that I like and it still gives me that same effect. Um, uh, this is this soft lace, it does lay flat. No matter which way I turn it, I, I love it. Like it's, it's, it's laying down pretty good. So I know once I get it secured on there with um, 
as I if I pull my Milano wig grip up a little bit more and take out some edges, I know that it's gonna it's gonna lay really good and it's gonna be secure on my head. Um, this I think the cap is not big head friendly because when I put it on, it was like well, like I didn't even adjust the straps or anything, and it was it was pretty tight, and I was like, wow, I think I have a big head. But um, um, this hair is um, a light yaxture, um, and I like that very much. It's not too silky and it's not too yakky for this uh, curl pattern. So I'm going to turn it back to the middle part because right now that's, I'm very comfortable with that. And then I am going to give you guys a 360 of the hair. Okay, so this is the front. And I have very few strands of hair up here, so it's pretty even in a middle part. Um, this is the left side. Um, this is the back. It's pretty bouncy. A lot of body. And this is the right side. And it's not that long. I would say it's about 12, 16 inches maybe. Um, unstretched. Stretched, I would say about 18, 20, it's not, it's not even that long. But, um, yeah, that is my review on this hair. I am super duper in love, and uh, once I do come back with a update on this hair, then I'll tell you how I officially feel about this hair. Um, I feel like once I do go in and actually adjust the straps and uh, fix my hair under underneath. Right now I just have a stocking cap on top, uh, on top of my hair. I need to uh, twist it down and then maybe the hair will um, lay more flat even though it is laying pretty flat with this soft lace. So yeah. like us, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell so you can get reminders when we post new videos.